Hello everyone, this is D22 with you today from D22 Responses with another how to use tutorial. Now I'm going to teach you how to use Windows Paint. Now this is the version for Windows 7 because that's what I currently have on my computer right now. But if you want to see how it's used, watch this video right here. You can also go to a previous tutorial about a paint software tutorial on Windows XP and there's a link to that in the description, but it's for someone else. I didn't usually do that because I wasn't able to get the software when I had Windows XP before. But anyways, moving on. So this is your standard layout for the paint user face, or interface, sorry, user face. I use your face. Anyways, we are going to go through each of these in order. So you have these tabs here called Home and view. We're going to just go to where it says home first. And where it usually is, it that it has paste and it has all your commands. So you can go paste or paste from if you've copied something previously. Now, I basically copied something from a video thumbnail. I did a print screen. So if you want a picture of something, you just press on the print screen key and then you just paste it in to your paint like what I did here with uh, my friend Jamal the comic. So this is normally how I import still photos from YouTube. If I wanted to use a thumbnail from something, I just go print screen, then put it into paint, or put it into Photoshop. I use Adobe Photoshop for higher end editing of photos, but I also use paint as a generic standard for it. So that's one command that you learned from me today. So what you can do is you can either cut it out or paste it in. And you can also use what's called the crop function. You can just either press Control Shift X or you can just click the crop button here. And what you can do is you can set your dimensions and then you click crop so that it crops it properly. And that's how you crop something. And then you can go into where it says resize and then you can change the size by either percentage or by pixel. So let's say we can go to, let's say, 722. So we'll go to OK and then it has to tell you please enter a valid number between 1 and 500 for percentage so let's go 500 so what it does is that it increases the size of the image 500 by 500 and then to see it all you would just press the magnifying glass tool and you'd magnify it even further and you can also zoom out with that so those are the basis things you can do and you can also do erase where you can erase certain parts of the picture, you can take the eyedropper and absorb a color, paint bucket, you can fill up a lot of things with that, select your color and then Bob's your uncle there. So, And they also have shapes, so for this new version they have shape functions where you can enter shapes like this, like there's my one two pentagon. So what we're going to do is we are going to fill up this with solid color. So we'll go to our paint bucket tool, and there we filled up our pentagon. And you can do the same for arrows, rectangles, word bubbles, thought bubbles, stars, and down arrow. So those are pretty useful if you want to do like a little snippet of a picture that you want to say click subscribe, you can use the arrow to point down there. It's really neat. And they have more shapes. Oh, lightning bolt. Yeah, that's pretty useful. And then you can also rotate the image like so. And yeah, a lot of things. You can rotate the entire image like that. And then you can go back. So it's pretty amazing what you can do in this newer version of Paint. You can also go to the View tab here. And you can set your zoom. You can set rulers. So it measures exactly how you want things and grid lines where you can have grid lines here so that each and every pixel can be detailed which is really neat now a lot of you may know how to use this already so this tutorial is for people that don't have an understanding of paint and want to use it on Windows 7 so it's really cool how you can get this function in so what do you do when you are let's say done a picture so what you do is you go to here that's like the new file button then you could go save and then it would just ask you to save it as anyway so you would go save as and then it gives you the type of pictures you can save it to PNG, JPEG, BMP, GIF or other formats so it gives you a plethora of options on what you can select here and you can also print you can 
take something from a scanner or camera, send it in the email. You could also set what you made as a desktop background. So that's really neat about this new version of Paint in Windows 7 that allows you to customize and put it on your screen if you really like what you've done. And then you can just go to the properties of it and it'll give you the image properties, exact height, colors, DPI, that sort of mumbo jumbo. And then you can select the types of brushes you want, whether it be fine tipped, like so, and you can also set the size like so, and then we're just going to zoom in a bit here just to show you how everything is. So we're going to go back to our brushes. So calligraphy brush, pen tool, fine tip pen, and you can just highlight it there. Calligraphy brush, airbrush, yeah, you can set the size of the airbrush, I believe. That's normally, that's normally how it would go. And you can also go watercolor brush. So it enhances a lot of things. Now this is just just scribbles and drawings, but this watercolor brush really makes your pictures come to life if you know how to use it. I'm no artist, but I know how to use it. And also felt pen, felt tipped pen, that's really neat. And also crayon. They have crayon here. Now that is pretty amazing. Crayon, oil brush, and then a calligraphy brush. So let's say you like doing calligraphy and you have a tablet attached to your computer and then you want to write stuff. That's what you can do. Watercolor brush. Oh, natural pencil crayon. So that's really neat. And you can integrate it with your tablet so that if you have an input and output device that is hooked up to your computer, you can use those brushes to create really intricate drawings. But if you're pretty skilled with the mouse, you can do that too. So that's just a simple basis of it all. Now to go and see everything from its entire stance, you can go full screen and then it shows you everything full screen. Now mind you this is just scribbles and experimentation of shapes but it gives you a sort of foundation on how to use paint so we'll escape that and then you can set it as thumbnails you can go zoom out a hundred percent and vice versa and then when you're done everything you just save it and close it so that's just a small tutorial on how to use the new paint from Windows 7 and I find that this has a lot more features than most of the uh, previous versions of paint so it definitely is something that is a useful tool and yeah if you have any questions about it feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll try to answer it as best as I can so get fueled for life and I'll respond to you another time goodbye for now